This presentation is designed to give an overview of the Skill Certificate Program to new CTE directors, existing CTE directors, administrators, and interested stakeholders who would like to refresh their understanding of the program. After reviewing the program, we will spend time talking about the direction we would like to see CTE program partners take in terms of emphasizing the value of our CTE certificates and end with some tips on what teachers can do to help improve student performance on exams. In the late 1980s, career and technical education began to implement competency-based testing. Back then, CTE first piloted tests in accounting, word processing, and data processing. In 1995, the Utah State Legislature prompted further development of a student performance testing system when it determined that up to 20% of CTE funding would be allocated towards student performance. Since that time, the Skill Certificate Program has grown to become an important part of career and technical education. We now have over 150 CTE skill tests available in all of our CTE program areas of study. The major emphasis of this program is to provide students with access to career-focused education that result in attainment of a credential with labor market value. Administrative responsibility for the program rests with the CTE section at the Utah State Board of Education. The Utah Administrative Code requires that an authorized test administrator verify student mastery of CTE skill standards. Administration of the program is managed by the education specialist in the CTE section at the Utah State Board of Education. Policy and program oversight filters down to CTE directors and then to the regional consortium, which is made up of CTE directors from each geographic region in Utah. The administrative code also requires that a program advisory committee be set up to provide additional advice and assistance to the skill certificate program. Known as the state skill certificate committee, this is a subcommittee of the regional consortium. The state skill certificate committee helps strengthen collaboration between those responsible for CTE certificate programs. The committee also serves as a structured means for sharing guidance by formulating recommendations for program activity. The committee meets twice a year. Policy and programmatic recommendations made by this committee go back to the regional consortium for review and then move back up to the CTE directors for final approval. The Utah Administrative Code additionally allows all school districts and charter schools the opportunity to participate in the program. Through program participation, LEAs qualify for incentive funding tied to student performance on CTE skill tests. Approximately $7 million is set aside for incentive funding to LEAs based upon student performance on skill certificate exams. The funding amount that each LEA receives is based upon student performance and is detailed in a spreadsheet available for each CTE director. Non-salary administrative funding for the program comes from two funding sources. First, a specific annual legislative appropriation itemized in the overall USBE budget in the amount of $341,000. And secondly, through an LEA district assessment. Of the approximately $7 million in skill certificate program funding distributed to LEAs each year, the program asks for around $240,000 back through a district assessment, about 3.5%, to help administer the program. Each district is assessed an amount based upon the percentage of total skill cert funding the LEA receives. It's important to note that funds for the program from both funding sources are not used to pay salaries. Rather, these funds are used to pay for the online contract with precision exams and the program of work activity that includes ongoing test revision, test development, and technical support. Over 1.7 million CTE tests have been taken by students since the 2011 school year. In addition, students have taken over 141,000 industry tests and earned over 103,000 industry credentials. The number of CTE exams proctored in each program every year has grown steadily since the program's inception. 
Our goal is to continue upon the program's current success and expand the number of skill certificates earned by students in order to promote more opportunities for student attainment of credentials with labor market value. The skill certificate program is not exclusively designed to replace the goal of preparing secondary CTE students to, to become college ready. Rather, the goal is to help provide students with an additional credential that holds labor market value while in high school. To help give some perspective regarding the potential value a skill certificate provides for CTE students, let's look at some interesting data. According to a recent national survey, 40% of business leaders say that the limited supply of talent is their most significant challenge. This involves all areas of the labor market, including jobs that high school graduates could fill, assuming they have the requisite talent or skills. We know that for every 100 students that start high school, 82% are graduating and 65% enter college. However, only 30% of those 100 students who start high school eventually complete a bachelor's degree. This leaves 70% of those 100 students available to enter the workforce without a bachelor's degree or some tangible labor market skill set. Compare this 70% group against another national survey. A recent Gallup poll revealed that 84% of responding hiring managers report that knowledge is very important and 79% say having some kind of skill set is also very important when making hiring decisions. With this in mind, research out of the Center on Education and the Workforce at Georgetown University shows that the U.S. has 30 million, quote, good jobs available. They define a good job as paying an average of $55,000 a year. Most importantly, these 30 million, quote, good jobs don't require a bachelor's degree, but they do require at least some training or some type of credential. How does this data relate to the Utah CTE Skill Certificate Program? Remember the 70% of students who enter high school that don't persist on through college and graduate with a bachelor's degree? What if they earned a credential while in high school that demonstrates a skill set with labor market value? The value of the Utah Skill Certificate Program is that it provides a vehicle that may indeed help bridge that gap. Utah Career and Technical Education provides all students access to high-quality, rigorous, career-focused programs that result in attainment of a credential with labor market value, while at the same time promoting both college and career readiness. By earning a Utah Skill Certificate, it helps to quantify the education and experience of CTE students. On the back of the skill certificate, the percentage of skill test questions that students answered correctly for each standard is listed. Remember the Gallup poll? 79% of hiring managers are interested in what specific skills a potential candidate brings to the table, not where they graduated or even what classes they took. Signed by the state superintendent, the state CTE director and sanctioned by the Utah State Board of Education, a CTE skill certificate provides tangible proof of value. Such value is quantified through student demonstration of competence on exam questions aligned to program area strands and standards. The Utah skill certificate also helps to identify potential opportunities to candidates and potential candidates for employers. And finally, the Utah Skill Certificate provides a common language between education and industry. All CTE courses are driven by a set of standards that have been developed with input from business and industry. And each test item on every CTE exam is directly mapped to these strands and standards. An added element of value of the CTE Skill Certificate program is the opportunity it provides to students to earn additional industry credentials. The program provides opportunities for students to work toward a selected industry credential or license while pursuing a high school diploma. 
Schools that have students who pass an occupational assessment conferring certification or occupational competency from a recognized industry, trade, or professional association qualify for skill certificate funding. Students in Utah schools have passed nearly 80,000 industry exams and awarded subsequent industry credentials since 2011. What can teachers do to help improve student performance on CTE exams? Are there ways for CTE teachers to help increase certification rates for their students? Are CTE administrators aware of the tools teachers have at their disposal? We know research shows that using data to make instructional decisions can lead to improved student performance in education. But what data is available to CTE teachers to help them make instructional decisions to improve student performance? All CTE exams have a blueprint available for each program area on the state CTE website. Every test question on each CTE exam is directly mapped to a program area standard. This blueprint identifies how many test points are associated with each standard. With this in mind, smart teachers can use this blueprint to help them make instructional decisions. For example, identifying particular standards with a heavy weighting on the CTE skill test helps them adjust instructional decisions. Teachers can use this blueprint to determine how much time and detail should be spent in the classroom on a particular standard based upon how the test is weighted. What additional data is available to CTE teachers to help them make good instructional decisions to help improve student performance? Perhaps the most important report in the precision exam system that teachers should run, analyze, and use is the Proctor Standards Report. This report identifies how students have performed on questions associated with each standard. It provides a percentage of all questions associated with each standard that students answer correctly. So in addition to the blueprint, teachers can also use this report to help them make informed instructional decisions. For example, identifying particular standards with a heavy weighting on the CTE skill test and comparing them against the percentage of questions students answer correctly helps teachers determine how much more time and detail the teacher might devote in the classroom regarding the content for that particular standard area. Administrators can also run the Proctor Standard Report. The data from this report will allow administrators to assist instructors with information to help guide them with respect to making important instructional decisions. Administrators also have a new report available to them in the Precision Exam System, which provides another source of important data. Known as the Assessment Standards Report, this allows administrators to evaluate how a CTE assessment is performing by standard across the district. The administrator can evaluate and compare the results of the assessment per school. The report also allows the administrator to drill down to the class level in each of the schools. As a final point, it's worth noting that research also shows professional teacher collaboration teams help improve student test scores. We know that collaboration teams are most effective when teachers collaborate to plan and implement standards-based lessons. A common understanding of content standards is built with a discussion involving how to improve future instruction. High-performing teachers collaborating with other teachers is one of the best methods for improving student performance. In closing, let me direct you to the Teacher Training tab on the Precision Exams website. On the Training pull-down menu before logging onto the system, teachers have access to a training resource page to help them learn more about proctoring exams. Great lengths have been taken to provide teachers and program partners with tutorials and valuable information about how to set up and proctor tests. The Skill Certificate Program page on the State Board of Education's website also has detailed information. Most every question regarding the program 
can be answered by simply spending time navigating through the information on both sites. This concludes the informational video. We hope you have found this material helpful. Please feel free to contact the CTE Skills Certificate Program Specialist at 801-538-7853 if you have further questions or need additional help.